A recent survey in a Sydney newspaper came up with this pearl. I must admit, I thought it was amazing that Australia's top dish is spaghetti bolognese. You know, the most traditional dish. Silly. Spaghetti. I actually like spaghetti bolognese. I'm not knocking it. But to say it, that it's our national dish is just a bit silly, isn't it? Anyway, I'm doing a pot of bolognese and lots of variations. Just for those people in Sydney. <laughs> all right. First of all, we've got some diced bits and pieces. We've got two medium carrots. We've got two large-ish onions, a few stalks of celery, and we've got about three rashers of bacon. Also, we throw in three cloves of garlic, nice plump ones, and we just saute that just to get the cooking process started. So a nice heavy bottom pot for this so that it doesn't burn, but you do, you do want it to caramelise a bit. You know, when you put the beef in, you know, you want that to happen. Now what I've got to go with that is one kilo of lean mince. Now I never ever make just a small quantity because I put it into takeaway containers and I put it in the freezer. Today that won't happen because I'm doing a whole lot of variations. But it's a lovely thing to have in the freezer because I don't mind spaghetti bolognese any time of the day and night. All right, not our national dish, guys. Actually, jokes aside, it's a bit like England. Their national dish is chicken tikka masala, or so they reckon. Now, that's not terribly English, is it? What happened to roast beef? All right, in we go with our mince, and we just break it up. Now, what I do with this, because this makes it easier, I just use a masher, because you want to seal this, because otherwise what you'll find is you suddenly find you've got a, a bolognese sauce and there's a big lump of undercooked mince in the middle of it. So using your wooden spoon and your masher, we will seal it. All right, now we've chopped that up quite well. We will keep on doing that. We won't just stop now, but we will add some liquid now. So first of all, two cups of beef stock, two by 400 cans of tomato puree. Now that is puree, not paste. White wine, if you've got a bottle of red wine open, use that. Some seasoning, pepper, a couple of bay leaves, and a couple of tablespoons of tomato chutney. Generous tablespoons, that is. Tomato chutney, relish, anything like that. Just adds a bit of flavour. And we will now cook that, and we'll keep on mashing it with our potato masher and our spoon, and we'll cook that until it's thick and fragrant. I reckon about three quarters of an hour. All right, guys? All right, guys, the 10-year plan now. I'm going to show you a few things to do with my wonderful bolognese sauce. First of all, I'm sort of making a moussaka, sort of. And when I say sort of, I really mean that literally. I've just roasted some eggplant slices with a decent amount of olive oil. I just sprayed it on. If you try to um, fry them, you end up, I know, I know the Greeks do it, but I always end up using about 43 tons of olive oil. Maybe they do use 43 tons of olive oil. <laughs> maybe, maybe I've got it all wrong. That's what you're supposed to do. I've got some Mornay sauce and we'll top that with some of my bolognese. And once again, quite a bit of that. Followed by some tasty cheese and some parmesan, which is not really what you would put on a moussaka, but Oh, what the heck. Next, baked potato in the jacket. We used to have these as kids, but just with mum's savoury mince, I don't think it was bolognese. So I've cooked that in the oven until it's tender. Once again, top that. So I'm just giving you some fun things that you can make with this. Sloppy Joes. Now this is a real American one. This is a hot dog roll which instead of the potato, you fill this up. And it's called a sloppy joe because, by golly, it's sloppy to eat. I can guarantee you that. Once again, cheese on top. Right, these all go in the oven. I'm obviously going to do some pasta bolognese, aren't I? That's pretty logical. 
course you can do the sauce on the top. I actually like, when I have bolognese, I actually like the sauce through my pasta. That's just me. So I've just got some spaghetti there, which I have pre-cooked. And last but not least, what I'm gonna do is an old family favorite, which we often had for breakfast, savory mince on toast. To go with it, Santa Cristina, nice Italian, fruity, light, just will work really well. So we've got sort of moussaka, which has got some Mornay sauce and some lovely eggplant, which I've just roasted. We've got sloppy joes. We've got baked potato in the jacket, pasta bolognese, savory mince on toast, costa. Awesome.